skincare routine video. My last skincare video went up in January of 2012, so a year and a half ago. And while my routine hasn't changed drastically, I think it has changed enough to warrant a updated video. Before I jump into my morning routine, I wanted to mention a few things. First is my skin type. I am very oily and acne prone. I am also 26, so when I go to buy skincare products, I need products that are going to help with my acne and also have really good for my skin anti-aging benefits. And the last thing I wanted to mention, if you have been with my channel any amount of time or if you've seen my previous skincare video, you know that I love Paula's Choice skincare products. And it was actually my Gammy, my mom, and my aunt all started using her products. And after I had seen them using them for a while and seen how wonderful their skin was looking, I jumped on the bandwagon as well. So I have been using Paula's Choice skincare for two and a half years. I think their products are fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into my morning routine. morning I start with the Paula's Choice Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser. So this packaging that says clear, this is her anti-aging product lineup and this is a really nice gel cleanser that I think does a really good job of cleaning out my pores of any dirt or oil but doesn't leave my skin feeling tight like some gel cleansers can do. So I actually apply a, probably a dime or quarter size amount onto my Clarisonic and I have had this Clarisonic for over four years. I use the deep pore cleansing brush head so just every three months I buy a new brush head but the Clarisonic itself has been with me for quite a while and I love this combination for really getting my skin clean in the morning. After cleansing I do my morning exfoliating and I use another product from the clear line this is the anti-redness exfoliating solution 2% salicylic acid and this is regular strength so this is a very liquidy almost water like product and I take it on a little cotton round and then I just gently apply it all over my face and this helps with preventing acne and also reducing redness. The last product I use from the Clear line is the Daily Skin Clearing Treatment 2.5 Benzoyl Peroxide and this is in the regular strength formulation. And this tube lasts me forever. If I have any active breakouts, I will use this as a spot treatment and then I also just kind of know my own skin. I know that once a month I tend to have a couple breakouts around my chin so I will just use this as a light layer over that area. And then I also can break out on the back of my shoulder on occasion so I will use this um, back there as well and I've seen great results with that. So I believe the first three products I have mentioned are the same for my original skincare routine video. The only thing that is different is the packaging has been updated in the past year. So that is what I do for um, acne prevention and then I move into a couple moisturizing products. First I apply the Resist Ultralight Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum and I really concentrate this around my eye area to make sure I'm getting a lot of moisture. So I just tap it with my ring finger and then lightly blend it out to the rest of my face. Right now I'm a little bit in moisturizer SPF limbo. I recently completed a tube of the Skin Balancing Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Broad Spectrum SPF 30. And this, when I brought it up anywhere near my eye area, it did sting a little bit. And I read that chemical sunscreens can have that effect on some people's skin. So instead of buying another one of that, I purchased the Hydrolite Shine Free Daily Mineral Complex SPF 30. And this one works a lot better on my skin. I actually prefer the texture to this one. It's a lot smoother. I think it's more mattifying on my skin. And when I do take it up into this area, I have no stinging whatsoever. So those are the products that make up my morning skincare routine. So moving into the evening, I start it the same way I start the morning, and that is with the Clarisonic and the Clear Pore Normalizing Cleanser. And with the amount of makeup I wear on an average day, this cleanser is great for removing any traces of makeup, dirt, and oil. After I remove my makeup and cleanse, I use my evening exfoliating product, and that is the Paula's Choice Skin Perfecting 8% AHA Gel. And if you could take away one thing from this video, in high school and college and as a young adult, I use the grittiest physical exfoliators I could find, from microbeads to strawberry seeds, and I would just go to town scrubbing on my face, 
trying to achieve a really glowy look. And basically all I was doing was just making scratches on the top layer of my skin. So it was causing more harm than good. When I first started using Paula's Choice, this is one of the first products I ever ordered. This is a chemical exfoliator, and this has been, at least for me, my key to glowy, radiant skin. So if you haven't tried a chemical exfoliator before, I would highly recommend getting a sample. I think you might be surprised by the results you can get with one. For my evening moisturizer, I use the Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin Hydrator, and this is a beautiful moisturizer. Not only is it giving me moisture and anti-aging properties, it also has anti-acne benefits, which is great for someone with kind of my, my two skincare concerns. Those are the main products that I use for my morning and evening routine. I do have three specialty products. Uh, two nights a week after I apply the evening moisturizer, I will follow it up with the Polish Choice Resist BHA9. This is a very concentrated serum for stubborn imperfections, and I have an entire video dedicated to it that I will link down below, but I mostly use this um, around my eye area for wrinkles, and also I do tend to get some clogged pores on my chin, and this helps a lot. And then once or twice a week I will use a mask from Paula's Choice. This is the Skin Balancing Oil Absorbing Mask. This is a very soothing formula that helps remove excess oil and just leaves my skin feeling really smooth after I wash it off. Last but not least is my all-time favorite skincare product. This is the Resist Weekly Resurfacing Treatment and it is a 10% AHA. I use this once a week, usually on Saturday nights, and when I wake up on Sunday morning, it's like I have new skin. My skin is so smooth and even and when I apply any kind of products, they just go on so beautifully. All right, so I hope that is everything. I just kind of opened my medicine cabinet and dumped everything into a basket and brought it down here. I know I use a lot of products and I do not think every person needs this amount of products. Personally, I have very problematic skin and this is the combination that has worked tremendously for me and given me amazing results. I think in my last video I said that Paula doesn't know who I am I still do not think Paula knows who I am, but through the world of YouTube, I have had the opportunity to build a relationship with Paula's Choice, the company, and they are kind enough to send me new products when they think I would be interested in them, and I'm so grateful for that. But I did want to make mention of the fact that every single product I showed you today was either purchased with my own money or given to me as a gift from my gams. So these are products that I love and I am could not recommend more. They have done such great things to my skin. So I hope this video was helpful or interesting. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. And I'm sure that the information box for this video is going to be filled with lots of links. So make sure to check down there. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.